Kajabi recently put out a new feature where when your students go through any one of your courses, you can activate certificates of completion. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up and customize your certificates of completion for your students and show you just how easy Kajabi makes it for us as the creator. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To start building out your certificate of completion, we wanna to go to the products tab and you can choose all products, courses, coaching, community, podcasts, whatever you want. I'm just gonna assume this is for a online course or mini course. And the example I have for you is my sweet mini course. So we'll click on that or whatever product you want to add a certificate to. At the top, we're gonna to have a couple of tabs under this specific product. While we'll the outline, customize the offer, customers do you have inside of this course? certificates and settings. We obviously wanna to go to certificates, click on that, and then there'll be a little tab right here where you can turn on or turn off your certificates. If we look over to this side of the product right here, it says celebrate your customers by offering them a certificate upon course completion. So what's cool is that inside of Kajabi, they actually track each individual student's progress and they'll tell you, if you're a student inside of one of my courses, it will show you how much of the course you have completed. And that kind of helps with actually making sure that people do finish the course. It gives them some a little bit of a progress bar so they can see how much left of the course they have to complete. But as soon as that hits 100%, Kajabi will send them an email where we can click down here and uh, you can actually customize whatever email you send over to this person as soon as they complete your course. So we wanna to go to com course completion certificate. They always have a default message, but you can click this little arrow and you, say, you could say you completed product title. I would just leave this, it's called a liquid water mark or liquid object is what it's called. So it's down here. Uh, basically that's going to fill in the blank with the name of whatever your product is. So in this case, my sweet mini course. And then we'll say congratulations, member name, you've completed product title. Again, just leave these inside of the brackets. Uh, you can change all the text, like instead of saying congratulations, you can say uh, awesome job, awesome job, and then member name. But you wanna make sure that that's there. Don't mess with them because that's gonna guarantee that you get the right member name, the right course, and that these little liquid watermarks don't show up inside of this automated message. Uh, to view your certificate, click the following link. It's already got that fully set up. So really, I wouldn't mess up or really change a whole lot of this. Um, if you do, again, don't mess with those watermarks. When you're done, you can click save. You can view in your browser or send a test email to yourself as well. But going back here, we wanna make sure that this is on, provide certificates for this course. And then up here, you can upload a logo. So you can click, pick wherever you wanna upload your logo from. Uh, do be a, aware of this and pay attention. It says recommended dimensions, 640 by 640. So what I like to do is open up Canva and you can go to customize or new uh, design and click customize dimensions and just put 640 by 640 and either add or create your logo so you know it's gonna be to the right size. Another thing when you're adding a logo, you don't wanna add too big of a logo because 640 by 640 is pretty small. So what I did was add, what, was add the favicon or the small little icon uh, from one of my courses uh, effortless income and I just put that inside of here and I'll show you what it looks like We'll do a little preview here in just a sec. You can also change all of this information certificate of completion 
whatever you want to call that. If you want to call it something else, that's the title, uh, the subtitle for successfully completing this online course. And then a uh, recipient subtitle, this certificate is awarded to, and it will automatically add their name because you should have their name when they sign up for your course. All that stuff is going to be fully automated. So really, it's just a matter of turning this on and adding a logo and pretty much running with it. <laughs> uh, the course name, you can change that if you want, uh, or I would just leave it whatever the name of the course is, obviously, and it will automatically populate all of that. You can decide if you want to show the completion date or show a unique certificate serial number if you want totally up to you. Just check this on or off. And then the certificate has an expiration date. You can decide if you want to do that. So let's say that your course is only open for one year. People have access to it for one year. Some people do that. You can decide they have one year to get this certificate of completion because they'll have the course open for that long. Or you can choose years, months, days. You can do multiple years, whatever you want to do. Okay. I prefer to just leave that. If someone buys a course, they just get access to it and we get to keep it that way. Okay, so when you're all done, you hit save and then you can either click this little eyeball icon or just hit preview and that'll open this up. The favicon, remember that 640 by 640, that's a really small design. So make sure that it is a small design. If I use the full logo, it would look super tiny. It would look kind of awkward here. Uh, but yeah, this is what it's going to say. Certificate of completion. The certificate is awarded to. Remember, that's all the information we put in down here. And then name a student. It will automatically put that. Kajabi will automatically do that for you. Uh, it will put the name of your course, whatever you want, issued on. And then the certificate number, the unique certificate number, if you want to add that. But again, you can change all this stuff, save it, and then come back over here. And it will change up the look and feel. Unfortunately, when it comes to creating certificates inside of Kajabi, you can't really do a whole lot of design in this department. Um, that's just kind of the downside, but it's cool just to get the uh, the acknowledgement that you accomplished the course from whatever creator you bought the course from. So I don't think it really is that big of a deal. It doesn't need to be something super fancy, but I guess that's just my opinion. Uh, maybe let me know in a comment what you think and uh, we can find another way maybe to, to create certificates. But that's really how easy it is. So you just have to make sure that you go inside of your products, pick whatever product is, go under certificates and turn it on, add a logo. If you want to, you can change this stuff up. Uh, but pretty much hit save and you're done. And if you want to try out Kajabi yourself, you've been thinking about testing it out and you like what you're seeing from the different tutorials you're checking out on YouTube, etc. cetera, uh, consider checking out my link. You get a 30 day free trial, a free course from me, and then a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me as well. Uh, to get access to all of that and learn everything you need to know, just go to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. But I'd love to hear from you. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the certificates feature inside of Kajabi, what you like about it, what you maybe don't like about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So that's really all there is. Take what you learned here, get out there. If you're using Kajabi, start using certificates. It's a great thing to add to your courses. And until then, I will see you in the next one.